Hey everyone, my name is Mario Medina and myself along with my wife Patty are the owners of this wonderful shop called Cigar Life. We're located in Lakeland, Florida. We've been here three and a half years and we're looking forward to taking you inside and giving you a tour of our shop. Remember to subscribe and like. Welcome everybody to Cigar Life. We're located in Lakeland, Florida, and we are at Diamond Crown Lounge. So I want to give you a quick tour of the spot where I'm at right now. This is the entrance to our store. We have a nice retail selection. We carry a lot of uh, wonderful accessories that you need for your cigars. Being a Diamond Crown Lounge, we carry many Diamond Crown accessories exclusive to us. There's only seven Diamond Crown Lounges in the state of Florida and 48 around the country. So we feel kind of special and very proud to have that relationship with the humans. We also have a robust locker program, and that program is $349 a year. You get 10 premium cigars when you come aboard. You get special uh, perks, such as a standing 10% discount on all your cigar purchases. 15% off on all your box purchases. You get a renewal gift. You get a brass plate with whatever name or nickname you want on your locker. You also get put on a special list and when there's special edition product, uh, whether it be Opus or limited releases, you get first dips on that product before it ever hits the shelf. So welcome to Cigar Life's Humidor. My name's Mario and I just wanted to share a little bit about what we do in here. So first thing, uh, temperature control and humidity control. We use a sonic system. Uh, amazing, amazing system. We have a five-stage reverse osmosis in front of that. Keeps the water nice and uh, clean. We run anywhere between 68 and 70 percent humidity and 70 degrees all the time. When you walk into our humidor, what you're going to find is that the perimeter is all the top 10 brands in the country. Things you'd know like J.C. Newman, Fuente, Perdomo, My Father, etc., etc. And then in the center islands, what you'll find is some more obscure stuff. In this particular case, we have general here, but you'll find some more stuff sprinkled in throughout that you probably wouldn't see in other stores. So we have over 900 SKUs available, and we pride ourselves on that selection. We keep it tight. Uh, as I mentioned in a previous comment, I come from the grocery industry, and in the grocery industry, once you get a new item on the shelf, you have about 13 weeks to keep that item moving and keep it authorized for customers to buy. So I use a similar philosophy here. Obviously we can't do 13 weeks, but we run about six months. So if we did our due diligence and uh, promoting the item, giving it social media, having an event, creating some excitement around the brand, it's six months, it isn't moving, it's gotta go. So every cigar pays rent. If you don't pay your rent, you get evicted. Hi everyone, welcome to Cigar Life. This is Mario Medina, and this is our bar. Uh, we have a great selection of soft drinks, craft sodas from uh, Wisconsin, Sprecher Soda, it's a small batch uh, soda company from Wisconsin made with uh, natural honey and real cane sugar. We've got a selection of Coke products, including Mexican Coke in a bottle. We've got a great selection of beers, uh, traditional you know, uh, domestics, as well as a lot of craft beers. And we have a great selection of wines. So come down to Cigar Life and get yourself a nice drink and a great cigar and have fun. So this is the entrance to our conference room. And in much like many shops, customers will bring you things and uh, like for you to share with them um, that they were thinking about you when they were away. So one of our customers brought us these wonderful pictures they had matted of photos they took while they were visiting Cuba. And for us, that's really kind of special. Hey guys, so right now we're standing in our conference room, which is a space we've created for our customers to find some quiet time. So you can come in here at any time that we're in operating hours. You can hook up to our free Wi-Fi. You can work from here. You can smoke in here. We have smoke eaters in here. It's a private restroom behind me. There's some club chairs. We can turn the lights down if you want to do some reading. So come down. Spend some time here. Get out of the house and enjoy our conference room. What do you guys like on a weekend here? Is there any chance of like live music or anything like that? 
No, we're not. We're not really into live music. Um, we do have music playing in the background all the time. We have a big sports community here, so Saturdays and Sundays it's college football, football, baseball, whatever's going on, hockey. Is this more of like a bull, seminal, gator, hurricane? Gator. This is more of a gator bar? This is a gator bar. What are you going to do, man? That happens, right? <laughs> and big Bucks fans, right? And all hey, beautiful. Tampa, Tampa Bolts, uh, Tampa Bay uh, Lightning. Uh, nice, nice. Well, I don't know if you know this or not, but we're recording the day before Tom Brady takes his first snap with the Bucks, so I am more than a little excited. By the time you see this, we'll know what happens in that game. Hopefully, we come out of New Orleans with the W. <laughs> So, um, what's in your humidor, man? Um, what, what, what sticks sell really well here? So, being a, a Diamond Crown Lounge, uh, our entire Jason Newman line is always number one. Uh, followed by close seconds would be Fuente and Perdomo, second and third. So, we're a, a much more of a purist store. Right. So, what you'll find when we walk the humidor is that Along the perimeter of the human door, you have all the, the major brands, top 10 boys in the in the country, right? Right. And then in the middle, you'll find a couple of islands that have some stuff sprinkled in, more boutique type items, not things good. that are a little more obscure that you may not find everywhere. Okay, cool, cool. Okay, we're gonna do something different here. And this is Mario's idea, and I freaking love this idea, okay? We're both, we get one. Mario's gonna start, I'll go second. We're gonna talk about the one thing that bugs us the most about the cigar biz. I'm going to turn this over to Mario. Mario, go ahead. Out of stocks. Out of stocks, by far. I Out come, of stocks, explain. I, I come from an industry where uh, I was in the grocery industry for 40 years, and Kraft doesn't call Publix and say, hey, I'm sorry, I'm not going to be able to ship you any mac and cheese this week. <laughs> you know, that just doesn't happen. You right, know, right. I, I think the cigar industry, uh, having visited you know, multiple farms and been on multiple tours, the cigar industry doesn't, uh, well, this is not a knock on any one person, but, sure, sure. and I'm not saying, you know, as a result of COVID either, but, you know, I don't think there's a forecasting model that allows for operations and supply chain and, and, and the, that whole forecasting mechanism to bolt one up to the other. So, you know, you, you, everything's humming along fine, and then you're out of stock on an item for three months, right? Right, and then right. you want to know why sales are down on that that item when it comes back in stock. Well, that customer moved on. Three months is a long yeah. time. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a moving train. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. And you're either on it or you're off. And by the time you're done, a customer's moved on or tried something else, and now they're on to something else. Right, right. So, you know, uh, that's that's the first thing. The, the, the second component of that, that that chaps my ass is transparency. So in, in my in the industry I used to be in, you, you had to, if you had an a, out of stock and you needed to communicate to the public, you better have a clear understanding of what it is that caused the out of stock, uh -huh. what was the root cause of it, and what you're doing to, you know, eliminate that root cause from happening again, and when do you expect to be back in stock. That, that level of communication doesn't exist in the cigar business. Now, I would have never thought of that. He's he's hitting me with something that I've never heard before. Absolutely. I've heard about it, but I never heard about it as like a, as like a thing that pings you, you know. Well, because listen, if I, you know, I, I understand that I may be the, the exception. Not that I'm special or anything like that. Just having the background that I have, right. bringing that to the cigar industry, is, is 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 maybe I don't know a stretch, right, in some people's eyes. But I think the game needs to be elevated all the way around. That bar needs to be raised. Right? You have to treat it like a business. I understand it's organic and there's rainfall and different things that affect. I mean, I'm not talking about acts of God. I'm talking about giving me an opportunity to manage my customers' expectations so that I can explain to them and manage the out of stock at my level before they move on to another product. I've, I've met a couple guys like you that bring like incredible business sense from you know, wherever they were in the private sector beforehand and then they come into the cigar because they own a lounge. And they bring a lot of that here, and it makes the place very successful because you think differently. You're like, I'm here for pleasure. I'm here for, you know, this is my big toy, my cigar. But it's also a business. I'm not a hobbyist. I'm here to make money. Right, exactly. And, yeah. Not, and I understand that, you know, I've seen now that not everybody treats their lounge like a business, right? right. Some guys are just in it for fun. I get that. But at least communicate to the people that are committed to your brand and dedicate the space to your products right. the opportunity to manage expectations from the customer side. Okay, I'm gonna give you one my big beef right here, okay? 
as you guys know, I do this a lot and I travel around and I do different cigar lounges. My biggest beef in the cigar business are people that are in it that don't have the customer service. Yeah, but they don't have that great, wonderful, empathetic, loving feel that we have in the cigar business. They don't have that, my God, welcome. I'm so glad you're here, you know, have a good... People that are really cold and coarse in the cigar business, you're not going to be in this business for long. Because that's not why people, you know, light these things up and pour a glass of whiskey or a beer or whatever. People that really have that abrasive personality that are in this business, man, you're not going to be here long. I guarantee you, those kind of people, you don't see them after a five-year period or, or six-year period. So, but you know what? That's like a lower 20%. 80%, 85% of us are really cool people, so... Thank God. Yeah. <laughs> All right, listen, I'm going to wrap it up. That's it for Brick, Mortar, and Smoke. We're at Cigar Life here in Lakeland. I don't know if you know about Lakeland. It's kind of halfway between Orlando and Tampa, and it's right off of I-4. So come by and see this place. You absolutely will not be disappointed. This place instantly just jumped on my top five favorite cigar lounges on earth. Thank you for having me here, my brother. Thank you for being here, brother. Yeah, it's been a pleasure. All right, you guys, we're out.